today I'm going to show you how to connect your Akai MPK mini keyboard so that you can use your drum pad and you can use your keys in FL Studios. Let's go! What's up guys? So the first thing we want to do, we want to get our keyboard and we want to hook up our USB. Let's go. It lights up. That means it's all on. Now let's go into the computer and let's work on the audio settings. What you want to do is you want to go up to your options bar. You want to go down to MIDI settings. Once you go to MIDI settings, it's going to pop up. Now, as you guys can see, I have my MPK mini and it's my output. That means anything, any noise I make, it's the output. The second one is my input. Meaning, whatever sound I'm making, I know it's going to record the, the pads and the keys of what I'm going into. Alright, now some of you guys might have a different keyboard. And this is how you find your keyboard. So you want to click on this button that says, this drop down menu that says controller type. Drop down. Now, you may be able to, you can go here and find any of your keys. Your, it may be a mini keyboard or it may be a uh, full 88 keys, but you can go here and find which uh, ones you are using. So, because I already have this, let's go back. One thing I learned too, guys, is make sure this is on port 10 and make sure this is on port 1. This port 10 is something weird, but just make sure it's on port 10 and you're going to hear it. So now, let's go here. Now when I go back, I'm going to go to my uh, channel rack now I'm going to insert a piano all right so now go to insert you can go to FL keys insert FL keys all right now that we have a, a piano in you want to go right click piano roll now as we press the keys we should see these light up to let us know all right, so I'm on the G4. You can see a G4 here. So now you guys can see I'm playing my keys through the actual FL Studio. Now, let me show you guys how to hook your drum pad up. That's what everybody was having a problem with, your drum pad. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go back to your channel rack. You want to right click and I want you to insert, but this time I want you to go to FPC, okay? So now that you're on FPC, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to presets. You want to go to empty. Now we have emptied out all of the notes. Now whatever instrument we decide to put or rim shot or any uh, sound effects or any vocals, box sounds, we can put it in this. So let's, let me show you guys how we're going to do this. So now the next step we'll press this down button and we want to go to map notes for entire bank. What is this is basic saying is you're mapping the notes. So let's say whatever city you live in, I live in Gainesville. So this would be Gainesville, uh, the neighboring city, Jacksonville, Orlando. So I'm mapping the notes. So if I want a drum here, I want a kick here, a snare here, a, I'm mapping them. So let's go. Map. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that bank B is actually going to be the green button. So because that says bank B, let's go to the green. But we want we want to switch it to bank A. So we go over here. So we go back to the red. Now, the word, in order to map it out, we must go in direction. One, two, three three four five six seven eight now when we go to bank B that's gonna allow for you go to the next level one two three four five six seven eight now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag some sounds in so let's say on the first one I want to put uh, I'm gonna put my kick so my kick goes there so now, watch this. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Go back to bank A. Now look.
All right, so let's say I want to put a clap there or a snare. So now here I have. Right. So now I basically got my uh, I basically got my drums. But let me put a symbol there so we can really. All right. Hold on. So here's my symbol. All right. Here's a sound effects. Uh, and let's see how that sounds. So now you're able to use the pads with different sounds. You see what I'm saying? So now what you do next is what you guys really wanted to know. It, you're saying, Nate, how do I record my keys in the audio system? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to press a uh, keypad, type keys to piano pad. Then we're going to go to our piano roll. Now as I press record, whatever I play, it's going to record. Watch this. So that was something simple. Now look, I got a, I got a piano scale. See? Hey. Right. So now everything I'm recording is now there. So let's let's go to the drums, guys. Let's go to the drums. So now you just go back to your channel rack. Now here is the key. See how this is highlighted? Whichever box is highlighted, it's what's going to be recorded. So if I put this here, it's not going to record my kick. You see what I'm saying? So now, let's see how that will record there. This is my kick. Now watch this, and you guys might be saying, Nate, where's the kick? So you want to press this down arrow, and it helps you go from different instruments. So now everything is there. So now each instrument that I place here, I'm able to play through the keyboard. So let's say I want to do the percussion here. Now whenever I press play, it's going to do the percussion. Watch this. Bad example, but you see what I'm saying. All right, and there you there you have it, guys. That was a quick step straight to the point. How you're gonna connect your MPK pads until your FL Studios? If you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what other type of FL Studio tricks and tips you guys want me to show you. Subscribe to the channel, and if you really want to support me, go to my Patreon where you have more in more depth videos like this. And once again, my name is Nathaniel Austin and I'm gone.